For today's video, we are starting to talk about cylinders and we are starting with surface area of cylinders. So our learning target is I can find the surface area of a cylinder. Please write down the date you're watching this video for your own notes. Write down your I know. And then we have three vocabulary words. First one is surface area. Surface area is the sum of the areas of the faces of an object. So we have net. A net is a two dimensional pattern that forms a solid when folded. And last is cylinder. A cylinder is a three dimensional prism with a circular base. So please pause the video here, write all this down, and then restart the video when you are ready to go. So to start this, we are going to look at the net. Basically, the net is what happens if we take a cylinder and unfold it. So a cylinder is basically a shape that has a circle at the bottom, and then the sides go straight up, and there's a circle at the top. So it's basically like the shape of a tin can that you might have that you store soup in or beans or something like that. Um, lots of shapes are cylinders that you can find in your house. Um, Water bottles are cylinders. It's a shape that is very, very, very common. Um, and the top and the bottom are cylinders. And then we have this outside edge. So if we wanted to make a net, a net is if we were to basically take apart a cylinder and lay it out flat, what we would have is we would have a top and a bottom that are circles. These circles each have a radius, R. And then the outside edge, so that's this part. The outside edge, this part here, this edge has the height, which is the height of the prism of the cylinder. And then the width of this is the circumference of the circle, or 2 pi r. So looking at this, the important things here are that we have our radius, we have our height, and then the width of this rectangle is 2 pi r. So to find the area, the surface area, we're going to be finding the area of two circles and this rectangle. So the area of the this circle is pi r squared and pi r squared. And then since the width of this circle is the same as the circumference of the circle, 2 pi r, and then the height is h, the area of the pink rectangle is 2 pi r times h. So, Add these all up together, we have pi r squared plus 2 times pi times radius times height plus pi r squared. And when we put all this together, we get this long formula, which is 2 pi r squared, so 2 times the area of a circle. And then the circumference times the height. 2 times the area of the circle plus the circumference times the height. And this is the formula that I think is way nicer. 2 times the area of the circle plus the circumference times the height. So this is the formula that I really recommend using and that we are going to be using here. So let's look at this. So if we have 2 times the area of the circle plus the circumference times the height, and we want to find the surface area of this shape. Well, we're going to start by finding the area and circumference of the circle. 
Looking at this circle, I see that I have a radius of 14 meters. Knowing that radius, I can find both the area and circumference. The area is pi r squared. So 3.14 times 14 squared. Typing that in on my calculator, I get 615.44. Next thing is to find the circumference. Circumference is pi times the diameter. So 3.14 times, well, if my radius is 14, that means my diameter is 28. So 3.14 times 28, which is 87.92. Now I can plug these numbers in. So I'll have 2 times the area of the circle. Well, the area of the circle is the 615.44. Okay, so now I need the circumference of the circle, which was 87.92. times the height. Well, the height is just the height of the cylinder. It's this number right here, or 15. So now, all I have to do is perform both multiplications and add those numbers together. So, 2 times 615.44 is 1,230.8. And then 87.92 times 15 is 1,318.8. If I add those together, I get 2,549.68, and this is surface area, so it is meters squared. And that is my answer. So the sh there's a lot going on here, but all we need to remember is to find the area of the circle and the circumference of the circle. And then we just put all these pieces together. It's a lot of multiplying and a one addition at the end. Two times the area of the circle plus the circumference times the height. Okay? Let's see if we can do another one together. We're going to try this one here. So if you want to try to um, pause the video and solve this on your own, go ahead and do that. Otherwise, if you'd rather continue and work it with me, that is okay as well. So 2 times the area of the circle plus the circumference times the height, starting by finding the area and the circumference. So the area of a circle is pi times radius squared. I notice right away that this gives me the diameter of 24 meters. So to find the area, I need to do 3.14 times 12 squared. 3.14 times 12 squared is 452.16. This is the area of my circle. Now I can find the circumference. Circumference is pi times the diameter. Pi is 3.14 times the diameter. Well, it gives it to me. It's 24. 24 times 3.14 is 75.36. That my circumference. 
So then the only other number I still need is my height, which looking at this I see is 21 meters. All that's left now is to fill this in. So 2 times 452.16 plus 75.36 times 21. Using order of operations, as before, I do both multiplications first and then add. So, 2 times 452.6 is 905.2. And then 75.36 times 21 is 1582.56. Adding those together, I get 2,487.76 meters squared. A couple important things when you're doing your assignments on these, it's really, really important to make sure that you are using 3.14 for pi. If you're hitting the pi button or doing anything else, you're going to get crazy answers that aren't going to work in your homework because I am using 3.14 for your answer keys. So just a little hint there. Okay, I want to show you one more here. This cylinder is laying on its side. And I want to make sure we understand this cylinder laying on its side doesn't change anything. So for this cylinder, we're doing the same thing, 2 times the area plus the circumference times the height. So then find the area, find the circumference. I strongly recommend pausing the video here, seeing if you can find this, and then turning the video back on to check your work when you're done. All right, so let's check this one. So the area, pi r squared, That will be pi times 9 squared, which is pi times, or 81 times 3.14, which is 254.34. That, oops, is my area of my circle. Next is circumference, pi times the diameter, just 3.14 times. Well, the radius is 9, the diameter is 18. 3.14 times 18 is 56.52. That number is the circumference. And now to figure out the height. Well, this cylinder is laying on its side. But the height is still the number that is not part of the circle. It's the straight side over here. So my, my height now is 10. So filling this in, I get 2 times 254.34 plus 56.52 times 10. Again, make sure you always do both multiplications before you add. So, 2 times 254.34 is 508.68, and then 10 times 56.52 is 565.2. Adding those together, we get 1073. 0.88 feet squared. So this last problem is very similar. You can see that it's sideways. So in this problem, our height is going to be that 10 inches there. You can also see that it gives you the diameter over here, so be careful with that. 
So the formula is always is two times the area plus the circumference times the height. Remember, like I said, the height is that sideways. It's that 10. So for your check for this video, I want you to give me the surface area. Again, remember to use 3.14 for pi so that you will get the same answer as me. So this is your check for this video. Please let me know if you have any questions. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.